Hey guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to my like part two of this He-Man controversy stuff. I did a first video about the He-Man controversy and I talked about my opinions on the He-Man, sorry, the Masters of the Universe television show and the controversies and the fandoms and people's reactions about it and stuff. And I'll stand by it that I think it's just a very average show that I don't understand. People are getting a little too crazy about it. I understand the love, understand the hate, but I'm in the middle in this one. I think there's a lot of stupid moments and weird moments. There's some badass moments, creative moments, artistic moments, but also some forced feminism moments in the show as well. So I'm very in the middle on Masters of the Universe Revelation. I'm going to be talking about Kevin Smith. I have been a Kevin Smith fan for a very long time. I love Clerks, Clerks 2, Mallrats, Chasing Amy, Jan Slum, Upstrike Back, Dogma, big fan of Kevin Smith. And his personalities, I've watched all his like late nights uh, with Kevin Smith, and just him talking to the fandom, I've even met Kevin Smith at a convention. He came to Fan Expo in Toronto back in, I think it was 2016, and I actually got to meet him and Jason Mewes, and they're both very nice and very pleasant people to talk to. And they talk to every single fan, and they're very kind and nice and generous people and he is a real nerd so yeah he is a very good guy from what i know and i've actually again met him for a brief moment and he seems like a very nice dude but a lot of people are giving kevin smith a lot of hatred because of this he-man show or mass sorry i keep saying he-man masters of the universe show people are saying he's a liar he lied to the fandom he shit on their childhood, he destroyed He-Man, what the fuck did he do, this was bullshit, okay, I'll talk about Kevin Smith and his controversy, I will be spoiling moments of the show, so just letting you guys know, but people are saying Kevin Smith lied, and he did about some things, but he didn't on other, he did say in a video promoting the second trailer that it is about Tila and the story of Tila and stuff. So he didn't lie about that. That is very much true, and it is Tila's story. It is completely her story. She's com she is obviously the protagonist of the story. But he did also say He Man was in it, and he is a big part. He even I think there's a, a YouTube channel called Clown Clownfish TV. I don't really watch them, but they kind of said uh, all this way before the show even came out that it was all about. Tila, it was a bait and switch, and he's marketing the, the show as a He-Man show, but it's really a Tila show, and he's just doing that so he can do a bait and switch and get the He-Man fans to watch the show. But don't fall for Kevin Smith's lying promotion. And Kevin Smith replied back that it was all lies, all speculations, and that's not true. And that he lied about because it is true. It is true. It is all about Tila. He did say that later on after that. And that he told the truth. But it is a bait and switch show. It is not about He-Man. The, the trailers when it first came out promoted it was about He-Man. But it is completely about Tila. It is to trick the audience to, say, to think that it's a He-Man show. But it's really about Tila. And it is a bait and switch show. Because she is basically the new He-Man. And He-Man... <laughs> He does have one badass moment in the very beginning of the first episode, but he is basically a nothing in this show, and he is just dreadful in it, and they do kind of make him a crappy-ass character in this new show. And Kim Smith has even said in interviews that he's kind of made fun of it. He said, ha-ha, I killed He-Man twice, blah, blah, blah. He was kind of making fun of it all, and kind of giving almost like a metal finger to the fandom and stuff. And, yeah, um... I don't think people should attack Kevin Smith. Uh, calling him a liar about some things is completely justified and 100% accurate. He did lie. That was a bait and switch show. But attacking him on a personal level is a little is a little low. It's a little it's a little bit of a low blow, and I don't think that is going to help anything. Uh, I think Kevin Smith's. Um, I think his reaction to some of the the the, the reviews is a little. Uh, Stupid as well. It's just, everyone is, everybody is just, just awful right now. Like, uh, the fandom to He Man, they're all behaving really immature, immaturely. And Kevin Smith's also kind of being an immature brat a little bit too, which is hard to say. I don't want to say it, but he, um, 
he made a lot of bad movies, Kevin Smith, and he used to get smacked reviews, people shit on his movies, and he never gave a shit, really. He, he was like, that's all good, it's all good. Like, he kept a positive note, he's like, that's all good. And critics were just like, Kevin Smith's not a good filmmaker anymore, and they kind of, like, attacked him and his career and stuff, and he was okay with it. That's why I loved Kevin Smith, because he was like, whatever, it's for the fans, it's all good. Like, he, he was always positive about it. But now when the critics praise his show and the fans don't like it, he takes it very personal. And he just he's very defensive and he's like, uh, if you don't like something, his comments was like, if you don't like something, then just don't talk about it. And I don't agree with that statement. I believe you can talk about things you don't like. You can't, I get like the world should be more positive place. I agree the world should be more positive. And if people want to talk more about positivity things, that's really great but people have every right to talk about some stuff they don't like and if they don't like your show they have every right to talk about it and say the show sucks like they have every right that is their opinion that is their subjective opinion and him whining about it and being saying this crap about his fans is like he's kind of losing his fans now like it's, i just i don't agree with that and he's not taking the criticisms very well he's it's uh, I, I think he can handle them a little better, even if some of the criticisms, criticisms are very rough and people shouldn't be saying shit like that. But I feel like Kevin Smith should be the bigger man and, you know, kind of handle it better. He's just kind of like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're not real fans anyways, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you guys. You guys aren't positive and blah, blah, blah. He's just kind of saying the wrong things. And it's, <laughs> I'm not saying give in to mob or anything, but. He could just be like, you know what, This maybe this show's not for you. Uh, I apologize if I did, like, offend people. But I, I stand by my show. I think it's a good show. But, you know, if you don't like it, that's okay. That's it's okay. And if I falsely marketed the show, I apologize. I had to do what I had to do to get the show. Like, as a business standpoint, I had to do what I had to do. And honestly, I would have respected that. Because it's a business. And Netflix is a business. Like... We had to market the show a certain way, and that's what we had to do, and I apologize for that, but I stand by my show, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's all good. Like, that's probably the best way he could have come across that. But no, he is accusing people of, like, being sexist, and some people are very sexist. <laughs> some people's comments are really fucking sexist and stuff, and people should shut their fucking mouths sometimes, but... He's just calling, like, if anyone dislikes the show, he's just calling them all haters and they shouldn't have an opinion. And that's the wrong way to look at it. If people don't like it, that's okay. But people have a right to say their opinions and stuff. So, for someone who has taken a lot of ne negative criticisms from critics and being okay with it, but now he's taking ne negative criticisms from the fans, he's not liking it. And honestly, like, you can't just can't have it both ways. If you, if you could take the dish from the critics, you could take the dish from the fans and stuff. So, uh, so like, is Kevin Smith like a complete liar? That's like the whole point of the video. Yes and no. Like, like yes, he did say it was about Tila. 100% it is. But is it also about He-Man? And is it also a bait and switch show? Of course it is. And he did not say that. And he said Clownfish TV was completely lying. And almost everything Clownfish TV said was pretty damn accurate. And a lot of people are calling Kevin Smith like this like Hollywood sellout. Um <laughs> I don't know if he is. I, I wouldn't I, I don't know if I would say that. Uh maybe he is. I don't know. Like I know he does love Hollywood and everything, so wouldn't surprise me that people would say that, but I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. But yeah, Kevin Smith lied and I think the bigger man for him to be is apologize for some of the false marketing. But also stand by your product. Like, he, he made this Master Universe. He clearly likes it and c clearly enjoys it. And that's perfectly okay. You should stand by and be like, you know, I love this show. This is great, but it's not for everyone. That's, per that's the best way to sum it up. It's not for everyone. And if people don't like it, they don't like it. If people like it, that's great. Like, that's the perfect way to sum it up. But no, he's getting very offended when people don't like it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and please don't brag about, like, oh, huh, I did this, I killed He-Man, <laughs> fuck you guys, like, he's being a little bit of a cocky dick, but whatever, I, I still am a fan of Kevin Smith, uh, I don't believe in attacking him personally, but you can have every right to have an opinion of liking or disliking the show, so...
That's my thoughts on Kevin Smith. Uh, is he a liar? I don't say in general, but did he lie about the show? Yeah, he did. What are your thoughts and opinions? Uh, give me thoughts opinions on the show, on Kevin Smith. Love to know them. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.